prompt during the 2016 presidential election. Um, I think he told the one of the committees here in Congress that was incorrect. Is that story true? I can't, uh, well, I, I can't go into it. Got you. Um, on October 31st, 2016, Slate published a report suggesting that a server at Trump Tower was secretly communicating with Russia's Alpha Bank, I and mean, I quote, akin to what criminal syndicates do. Uh, do you know if that story is true? Do not. Do not. You do not. No way it's true. So d- did you not investigate these allegations which are suggestive of potential right. Trump-Russia? Because I believe it's not true doesn't mean it would not be in- investigated. It may well have been investigated, although in my belief at this point it's not true. Good copy. Thank you. Um, as a former CIA officer, uh, I want to focus on something I think both sides of the political aisle can agree on. That is, how do we prevent Russian intelligence and other adversaries from doing this again? And after overseeing and counterintelligence operations for 12 years as FBI director, and then investigating what the Russians have done in the 2016 election, you've seen tactics, techniques, and results of Russian intelligence operations. Our committee made a recommendation that the FBI should improve its victim notification process when a person, entity, or campaign has fallen victim to active measures of attack. Um, would you agree with this? With this, it sounds like a worthwhile endeavor. I will tell you though that uh, the ability of our intelligence agencies to work together in this arena is perhaps more important than that. And adopting whatever, and I'm not that familiar with uh, legislation, but whatever uh, legislation will encourage uh, us working together by us, I mean the FBI, CIA, NSA, and the rest, uh, it should be pursued aggressively early. Who, who do you think should be responsible within the federal government to counter disinformation? Uh, I'm no longer at the federal government, sorry. But, but you have, you've had a long career, a story career, and I don't think there's anybody who better understands the threat that we are facing than you. Do you, do you have an opinion as a former FBI officer? As to? As to who should be the coordinating points within the federal government on how to deal with no, this that's, uh, I don't want to wade in those waters. A good copy. Um, one of the most striking things in, in your report is that the Internet Research Agency not only undertook a social media campaign in the U.S., but they were able to organize um, political rallies um, after the election. Um, our, our committee issued a, 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 a report insight on saying that Russian active measures um, are growing with frequency and intensity and including their expanded use of groups such as uh, the IRA and these groups pose a significant threat to the United States and our allies in upcoming elections. Would you agree with that? Yes. In fact, one of the uh, other areas that we have to look at and many more companies, not, not companies, many more countries develop a capability to replicate what the Russians have done. You, you alluded to making sure the other, all the elements of the federal government should be working together. Do you have a suggestion on a strategy to do that to counter this disinformation? Not overarching it. Is this, um, in your investigation, did you think that this was a single attempt by the Russians to get involved in our election, or did you find evidence to suggest they'll try to do this again? Oh, it wasn't a single attempt. Uh, they're doing it as we sit here, and they expect to do it... Uh, during the, the next campaign. Director Mueller, I uh, appreciate your, your time and indulging us here um, in multiple committees, and, and I yield back um, to the ranking member if he has 